Mr. President, this is General Richard Stilwell. Mr. Well, President, good to see you again, sir. Good to Thank see you. you again. Thank you. General Van Fleet. General. Mr. President, God bless you. My love and admiration for what well, you've done for my country. Well, thank you. It's a great pleasure for me to shake your hand. Well, my pleasure and my honor. General Davis. Thank you. Right here, sir. Hello there. Hey. All right, nice to see you. Colonel John Kenny. It's an honor being here, sir. Well, I'm honored. Edward Borcher. Thank you, Mr. President. Hello there. I look forward to having you back in California. Soon. I'm kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> Colonel Cherry. Colonel. Thomas Daney. Mr. President, it's a pleasure to have you. Colonel Helsman. Hello there. Colonel Rosemary McCarthy. How do you do, sir? Thank you very much for your support. I know you know Mike Kevin. Hello, Mr. President. Hello there. Nice to see you again, sir. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Carlos Rodriguez. Present. Hello, Alicia. Okay. My pleasure to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, Mr. President. Mr. President. It's good to work, Mr. President. And Senator Armstrong. Hello, Mr. President. Good to, Good to see you as always. Good to see you. Thank you for having us over. Pleased to have you. Sir, do you want to get yes, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Now, now we want to get everybody in here. A couple of men are in. Okay. We'll bring our presence now. All right. Thank you. 1988 marks the 35th anniversary of the ceasefire agreement which ended the combat of the Korean War. We join with all Korean War veterans and citizens throughout our nation in the sacrifices made in the defense of freedom in Korea. Tomorrow at Arlington Cemetery there will be a memorial service. Secretary Carlucci will attend and the heroism of those who fought in Korea will in the near future be permanently remembered by the Korean War Veterans Memorial that this group has worked so hard to make a reality. And this effort depended in large part on private donations and the tireless energy of this board. And now I'll sign the proclamation in order that flags be flown at half mass tomorrow with a symbol of our gratitude to those who served in Korea and of our commitment to preserving the values for which the Korean War veterans fought. spans the whole 200 years of our country's history, for his grandfather fought in the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. He's 14 years old and previously come from Holland. Well, my goodness, that, that is a remarkable. And his father was in the Civil War. His father was in the Civil War. Civil War. This little President. town of Innocent that the Indians burned down, and the governor called for volunteers, and he answered the call. Thank you. We have two Congressional Medal of Honor winners here today with us, too, General Davis and Scooter Burke. That's the president. That's a record of our youngsters today, though. They're a great bunch. Mr. President, yeah. on behalf of the Korean War Veterans Association, I would like to present you with one of our programs for our memorial service tomorrow. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and I am from California, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I think it is really it's these high time that uh, there was much more memory of this particular conflict than uh, than there has been because it was before war, war, a war fought for a noble cause and and uh, as I say it suddenly was taken too much out of people's minds. I had the privilege of being over there and being up on the, the militarized zone where our troops are stationed and you'd all been very proud of a young lieutenant who was standing there and who said to me, Mr. President, we're on the frontier of freedom. We guarantee a monument that the nation will be proud of, you know. Well, excuse me, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> I met Commander in Chief. Right? Having left well, you're the Commander in Chief. Having left in World War II as a captain, I'm glad of the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> I welcome everyone, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. A great day for me. A great day for me to meet. Thank you, sir. Very nice of you to be let me come here. This is with you. Let's, we're limited in time. Let's get in here. Take the chair over there. Hi, Pete. Oh, sorry. Good to see you, sir. I just want to come around. First, congratulations on being the ranking Republican on that all important committee. Well, you know, one of my colleagues came up to me a couple of weeks ago and said, boy, this is great. You're moving up. You're going to have the reins now. And I said, yeah, but they're not connected to anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm interested in hearing your, your views, and I know we, we want to work with you on Well, I really just wanted to tell you the same thing. I, I want to offer my services to you in whatever way that I can be helpful to you and your administration months that are left in the year, and also in whatever way that I can be helpful to perpetuate this administration through the election of my most celebrated constituent, George Bush. Well, As you probably know, he lives and votes in my district. Yes, and represented that district. Yes, before me, that's correct. And it's going to be a tough race, I think, Mr. Oh, I think President. So uh, and we're going to, I think we're going to need your help. I hope that you will have some time to come into Texas because you are so beloved there. Well, I depend on the other scheduling. We uh, keep track of the places where I should go, but uh, I'm going to do everything I can. I can't quite sure it is. These are the Morgans that are from Cumberland, Maryland. Well, how do you do? My pleasure to see you. And they have a marvelous story. In October of 1928, the two of them were photographed on the White House grounds. One, both of them were very small. New had no idea they would ever come across one another again. We didn't even. They have now been married 50 years. And there they stand, side by side, in this photograph with his father and mother. And her parents are over here. They were, strange, they were strangers at the time. We didn't meet until seven years later, after they had moved a couple times and arrived in Cumberland, where I lived. So this is their 50th wedding anniversary this year, and I well, think it's quite appropriate that they come back to their original meeting yes. place. So we so, met uh, yeah, President sense. Coolidge on that occasion. Oh, yes, of course, that's right. What is that? I will let you have this treasured <laughs> photograph back <laughs> and appreciate you uh, giving us a few minutes of your time well, to, to let them renew what has been a, a very nice relationship that they have had with, with these women. Well, pleased to have Sorry, you. Sorry, it's just been a marvelous pleasure to meet you. Well, my pleasure to meet you. you. Thanks again. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, we will let you get on with your busy day. Thanks. <laughs> right. Okay. You're taking care of my mountain up there, aren't you, Camp David? I mean, I know you, you went to California, but you will be back up in our hill. Oh, yes, this coming weekend. Okay. We'll That's be up there. Yep. I always like to know when you come in my district. You know, there's a prerogative that the person comes to a district. Camp David's in your district? Sure. Well. I'll check you. 
Thank you. Paul McCulley, you're in our district. Yes. <laughs> Friday. Number two. Congressman yeah. Myers from Indiana. Yeah. John Myers? Yeah. Yes. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Good to see you here. Getting ready. I want you to see, introduce here, Mickey. Yes. Hello there. Hello there. Mickey so Deeslin. Howard Deeslin. Yes. Good to see you. You've seen me over in the OEU yes, before. I have. Yes. yes, see, I told you you would remember. Sure. <laughs> She's been a volunteer here. Well. Well. Thank you. Well, it's good what to time do you have, Mickey? It's good to see you. Would oh, you show the uh, what time you have? I'm supposed to show you what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> It's, she has uh, good taste, you see, too. Yes, sir. It's government, governor, I mean, it's George Bush 88 time. Uh, right. <laughs> That's right. Uh. Right, exactly. Could uh, I sneak one with the president? Sure. Well, well, thank you for being here. Well, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Thank you for all you did. Thank you, course, for both of you. Thank, thank you. you. They both went back to Indiana, back to God's country, so uh, we're, we're, we're keeping the one bunch out of mischief. Uh, you've heard of that. <laughs> I know it's better. You know that's impossible. Uh, yes. Right. He was on the faculty for years at Purdue. He came down here. Been down here for five years. And... Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Jack Davis from Illinois. I know. Good to see you, sir. My wife, Virginia. Oh, nice to see you again. You. You're looking well. Yeah, you're good. Good. Nice to present my son, Jack. Hi. 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 you, me. Hi. My granddaughter, Martha. Hello, Dave. My daughter, Jill Nessler. My beautiful daughter, Heather. Hello, Dave. Young John, my grandson. And my son-in-law, Dave Nessler. You're looking very fit. Well, I feel good. So do I. I think we ought to get together in a family picture. Here. Oh, that would be wonderful, That's however you want us. How often do you do this, sir? Uh, well, it's always a pleasure. It is a pleasure for us to be with you. We have left the greatest president in the century, no doubt. Well, no, thank you very much. I think you were working on the other side, How are you running, Jackson? Very well, Dave. It's nice to see you. Working hard. Yes, sir. He's not doing much, but I just don't let any grass grow under my feet. But this guy can help us for the day. You bet. Thanks for that. You bet, Jack. Mr. President, I'm ahead of my two colleagues. We apologize. Yes, I know. We just had a vote. These are Strange the things done in no cap, son. These are the two colleagues. Uh, Hi. How are you? Hello. This is my Louis. daughter, Lily. Well, nice, nice. nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Why don't, we, why don't you get in the middle? And in the middle? Two. Okay. Yeah. Let's get rid of this guy for a minute, okay? Oh, here, we here we go. Here we go, Lily. Can you get over here? Thank you. Thanks. Right. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're doing a great job. Well, it's hard to be in and out. Well, why don't you come over here for you? It's just a thing about the Alaska Native Claims Resettlement. Isn't that nice? And then it just happens that for somebody that's having a birthday at <laughs> seven years old, <laughs> Isn't that nice? Maybe a little charm. Char I mean, a little charm. I think for a charm bracelet. Thank you. Can you give my hug to Lily, though? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's nice. Well, that's, uh, that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Yeah. I appreciate it. She doesn't know if you shoot your own horses. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but you were working on them. We saw you nailing I those. Them and yeah. All of that. Well, you were checking them. We saw that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Say bye, little. Thank you. Bye. You're pretty much there. Murkowski, how are you, Mr. President? How are you doing? Just fine. Great, great. I've been out already today. Good to hear. You look like a fellow that we yeah, just did with the family. Come on over here. Get in the middle here. Oh, okay. Okay. here. Okay. Nah. I'll stand up. That's a bit. great. It's been a long time in coming, needless to say. Well, 
Well, Ted Hendricks, so. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thanks very much, Mr. President. Well, a pleasure. Very much appreciate this. It's so the people will ask you. I'm sure you yeah. All right. We'll use that. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Real way. This is pretty good at that, too. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rudy isn't here, but Sharon uh, Garam by herself without Rudy. Okay. And she's the director of Minnesota. Mr. President, Sharon German. Well, hello there. How do you do? Well, nice to see you. I'd like to present to you a poster from the state of Minnesota done by a national cartoonist and a thank you for the statement you made on the Kentucky bus crash regarding the drunk driving issue. Well. And also a t-shirt for yourself and for Mrs. Reagan for her efforts in the issue of drunk driving and teaching the young elementary school students and their teachers and parents. Well, listen, I'm, I'm in the, the mood to say thanks to you for all you're doing in these very well, worthwhile causes. We appreciate it. And I'd also like to leave you literature on some of the programs that we've done in Minnesota for MAD. And the one program that I am just especially pleased with is a victim's card that is being given out throughout the state of Minnesota by all the law enforcement people for contact with victims the minute it happens, and we're the only state that I know of that's doing it. So I'm just pleased. I think you had an awful lot to do with this, didn't you? Well, yes. <laughs> but mad, I couldn't have done it without them and without the state patrol colonel letting give me the encouragement. So it's worked out well. very, very well. And we hope that the difference will be going on and changing, and that this will no longer be a socially accepted behavior, well. period. I'm for you with that. Thank yes. you very much. Sure, maybe uh, Jim can take those if you sure. like. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh -huh. Thank you. you bet.